Welcome back to the FPX YouTube channel. My name is Martin Turen, President and CEO of FPX Nickel. I'm joined today by our VP Projects, Andrew Osterloh. We're here today to talk about the results uh, put out in a news release uh, dated December 8th, 2021, reporting the results of the first phase of a metallurgical test program that we've undertaken in support of an eventual PFS or preliminary feasibility study on our Baptiste Nickel project in central BC. Andrew, nice to see you this morning. Likewise, Martin, thanks for having me here today. Yeah, great. So um, as, we, as we get started here, um, uh, you know, these, these metallurgical test, uh, test result news releases tend to be relatively long, fairly, fairly complex and fairly technical. So we thought it'd be a good idea to record a brief video here to walk people through the high level of uh, results. Um, with respect to uh, the flow sheet, what's, what people are seeing on the screen here is the flow sheet that was set out uh, in the 2020 PEA. That's, that flow sheet was supported by bench scale or relatively small scale test work that was undertaken um, in support of that PEA work effort. Um, I'll pass it over to Andrew now to talk about the flow sheet with a focus on uh, this three phase uh, metallurgical test program we've undertaken. Um, so Andrew, over to you. Yeah, thanks, Martin. So th this three-phase program was, you know, intended to be fairly uh, far-reaching to, to tackle three things. One was, you know, validating the, the PEA's flow sheet and criteria. Um, two was to look for optimization opportunities, some of which were identified in the PEA itself. And, and thirdly, um, to uh, create a robust data set, which gives us a, a really um, good basis to start the pre-feasibility study with. Um, so what we'll focus on today is, is phase one's test work. We'll have subsequent releases for phases two and three in the coming periods. Um, phase one is really about uh, a combination of bench and pilot scale test work, um, looking at the primary grind uh, and grade recovery relationship, as well as the regrind and grade recovery relationships. And testing was done at both the bench and the pilot scale here. Yeah, excellent, Andrew. And I think it is important to note that those phase two and three work programs, phase two is, is underway, phase three will soon be underway. And we will have further news on those phases of the, of the uh, test program uh, into 2022. Now, um, in terms of high level takeaways, um, you know, I think what we're seeing here is largely confirmation of those main unit operations in that uh, PEA flow sheet. But over and above that, we're also seeing some opportunities for some very significant increases in nickel recovery up to 5% over what we saw in that 2020 PEA. And Andrew, I'll pass it over to you now to describe you know, where those improvements in nickel recovery are coming from. What is the technical basis to say that we can potentially target up to 5% increase in those nickel recoveries? So, yeah, thanks, Martin. So, so the uh, the grindability work and the the bench scale test work was largely confirmatory of, of the PEA. Um, I think, as you summarized, but what was undoubtedly the most interesting results to come out of the phase one program was the initial piloting, uh, the results of which you can see here. So, I think, firstly, um, you know, when we demonstrate or we talk through why we see these benefits here, I think it's important to differentiate the differences between uh, the, the bench scale and the pilot scale uh, work, as well as what we see in the plant. So at a bench scale, um, we typically grind on a batch basis. So that's to say a, a set amount of material is put into the mill and ground for a set period of time. And what you end up with is a relatively consistent particle size distribution across all the minerals. Whereas at the pilot scale and in, in an operation, we grind in closed circuit. Um, so we have uh, grinding mill discharges sent to a cyclone classifier um, with the cyclone underflow or the coarse material sent back to the mill for further grinding and the cyclone overflow sent on for subsequent processing, which in our case is, is magnetic separation. So why is this important for Baptiste? Um, you know, cyclones are a sizing tool, but they're also strongly influenced by the density of the material itself. And, and our right is very dense, 7.2, um, where our, our host rock or our gang is, is quite a bit lighter um, in a density of around 2.6 to 2.7. This is very significant. So what we see is preferential classification here. So the hour right tends to preferentially report to the underflow and go back for further grinding, further liberation. The, uh, the gang material tends to preferentially go to cyclone overflow and, and subsequent processing. So, you know, that preferential grinding of hourite gives us improved liberation, which allows us to 
um, you know, both target a, a, an improved recovery, which you can see here in, in demonstratively lower tailings grades, as well as improved recoveries, as well as we get better selectivity. So the, the mass poles are able to be lower, which, which reduces our, our downstream processing requirements, most notably regrind. So a couple of really piece, key pieces of information that came, came out of this, and it's really only be able to unlock when we, we look at this uh, closed circuit grinding with cyclone classification. So, you know, really promising results that came out of phase one. Again, phase three, a big component of it is gonna be uh, much larger scale pilot testing. Uh, we'll look at longer runs, we'll look at higher throughput rates, and we'll look at multiple grind sizes just to really crystallize these benefits here. Um, so that's an exciting piece of work which we're gonna be undertaking here shortly. Great, thanks for that, Andrew. So yeah, lots of technical information there to get through. Um, I think that's a great summary. Really, again, emphasizing the two main takeaways from this release is one, that the test work to date has been largely confirmatory of that uh, 2020 PEA flow sheet, which is a very significant de-risking step for us. And secondly, highlighting those recovery improvements due to that uh, preferential grinding of that dense aware uh, uh, particle. Um, thanks so much for everyone uh, watching the video. If you have questions, please leave them here below the video or feel free to email us at ceo at fpxnickel.com. Until next time, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks, Martin.